not that I don't want you here yeah. It's something about the way you sent my eyes I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist you We can get away, palm trees, beach views, food and everything All I wanna hear is in the visions I replay Someone next to you Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. First thing I'm doing is making my coffee. I just brewed one of these uh, caramel pecan ones that I showed y'all from Walmart. Can I just tell y'all that I love this Keurig? It works so fast. I just love it. It's like the best um, coffee machine that I think I've ever had. Love it. I still kind of want an espresso, but only because it's trendy, so I'm not going to buy one. <laughs> And then I told y'all that my frother wasn't working right. But what I realized is that it works right when it wants to. Alexa, turn the lights off. Okay. Somebody leaves these lights on all night in like purple. I don't know who does it. Okay, so let's talk updates. I think the last time I saw y'all, I was leaving Walmart because we were looking for a new steam mop. And we did get one. We got this uh, shark spin in the steam. Let me show y'all. This is the one we got. I will link it below. I haven't used it yet, but I plan to use it in this video, hopefully. Also ordered some pads to go with it, some extra pads. On Amazon, I actually bought some at Walmart, but then I realized $20 for four pads was not a good deal. So I went on Amazon and bought them there. I need to take the ones that I got from Walmart back. Before that, we went to the mattress store, tried out some mattresses, and we ended up buying one. Um, and that is being delivered today. Today is Tuesday. So yeah, that's what happened on Friday. On Saturday, we went to the movies, and I tried to go to Ikea to get the kids' closet stuff. Um, I know I went back and forth about which closet organizing system to put in their closets. I was thinking about doing like the Rubbermaid closet system, but it's, my issue is the depth. Like they have the closet made ones, they have the Rubbermaid ones, but the depth is even less than the um, Ikea one. The Ikea one is 15 inches deep, but the one with Rubbermaid and closet made, I think those are 12, so I'm, I think I'm getting a better deal with the Ikea ones. Plus I think the Ikea might be a little bit cheaper too when you get, for what you get. Like you can buy a pre-configured closet system from Rubbermaid or Closet Made, but when you wanna add additional pieces, you need to go back and buy those pieces. And they're not cheap. Like I think a drawer, a 27 inch drawer is like 30, $40. So it's gonna add up really quickly. And we're talking about doing four closets. So I think I would just rather, I think I would just rather do Ikea. Um, so I went in there, I was gonna like buy some of the stuff cause I'm only planning to do, to start off with like two vertical sections. So my plan is to do, it's gonna be two, no, three bars. So one bar, two bar, three bars, and then two shelves cause they hook on the bar at two different areas at each side of the shelves. A hanging area that the clothes will actually hang on and then under that I went to do two drawers on each side and then two shoe racks on each side so they would have a total of four shoe racks two on each side four drawers two on each side two hanging areas and then two shelves at the top I was thinking that I could start each kid with that and then that would be enough for them to kind of grow into and then as they need more we can expand their closets from there we don't need to do like the full closet on day one so that's kind of what I'm thinking. I went to, to the Ikea store in person. They didn't have most of the pieces that they were out of stock of most of everything that we would need to do it with. So I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to order it online. We went to see Woman King. That movie was so good. Highly recommend. I would definitely go see it again. It was top tier, loved it. Viola Davis is a standout for sure. She's always a standout in pretty much everything she's in. But she's amazing. So I would highly recommend that movie. Definitely go support it. It's it's 
fantastic. I know we got another delivery yesterday. Well, this is unrelated, but I had to order a new computer charger. I was trying to edit, start editing these videos so I can get them up for y'all, because li literally, let me show y'all how many videos I have to edit. This is all of the videos that I have to edit. So, this is another countdown to closing video, September 5th, the final walkthrough, the empty house tour. We have a video from September 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, um, 16th, 17th, 18th, and then, yeah, whatever else is on here that I haven't uploaded to my um, hard drive yet. So, it's a lot of videos. <laughs> I was working on editing a countdown to closing video and my computer started dying and I plugged it in and it would not work. So I had to order a whole new charging brick because I think it was my brick that wasn't working. So, here she is. I need to plug that in pretty soon because my computer is gonna die as soon as I start actually working on it. The battery's gonna start going fast. Because I didn't have a high-powered brick anymore, I plugged it, the charger directly into the wall. Some of the sockets in our house have USB ports, so I plugged it a cable into a USB port and it literally took all day to charge. King got a new computer chair and it is in here. His theme is blue and white, I wanna say. Um, this TV I need to take back. No, 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 this is a new TV. This TV I need to take back, this 32 inch, um, cause he got a 43 inch instead. And then we also got the same 40, we got the same TV, but in a 50 inch. Oh, I need to show y'all that. And then um, what else is over here? Here are the pads I need to take back. And then what is in here? I haven't even opened this yet. I do not know what's in here. Y'all, I can't. Like, life is moving so fast these days. And I just can't keep up, if I'm being honest. I have ordered so much stuff. I don't even know what's what anymore. I have so much stuff to take back. We actually have a 10 year warranty with our mattress. And the only thing that will void the warranty is if you don't put a mattress protector on it. So I ordered a mattress protector the same night that we ordered our mattress so that I could make sure we would have it by the time our mattress was delivered. Everything that's from Amazon, y'all, is gonna be in my Amazon store. So if there's anything you see that you want, Amazon store. Anything that is not from Amazon will be linked below. Coffee is gonna get cold again. Okay, let me show y'all our room. I'm trying to think if I showed y'all the duvet cover I bought King. Um, I don't think I did, but I'll show y'all whenever his bed actually gets assembled. His bed is in the garage. Hasn't been assembled yet because I haven't ordered him a mattress yet. I ordered one mattress last week um, because I didn't want to order. We need two queen mattresses, but to me, they did not clean this counter at all last night. Like I cannot. When I'm not here, things do not get done, I swear. I'm just, it's food all, it's food all over the counters. I'm just, I've been looking at rice all morning. I'm sorry y'all, I'm all over the place per usual. Cause I got a million things happening per usual. <sighs> Let me show y'all this new granite and stone cleaner that I got. I've been using this on the kitchen and bathroom counters and it is disinfectant and I like it. So y'all are looking for a granite and stone cleaner, I recommend it. What I recommend though is not doing what I'm doing right now and using it to actually clean your counters. I recommend using it um, after you clean your counters with a dry rag to like wipe them down, wipe them down um, and shine them and stuff. I would use something else to actually like clean them and get the food off because it will leave streaks if you don't polish it into the um, into your counter. But what I was saying was, we, I ordered one queen mattress, and the reason for that is because we need two, one for Kane and one for King, but I didn't want to order them the same one and then they don't like it and I just sent one back. Um, I didn't want to have to deal with that, so I was like, let me just order one. It was supposed to come in two days, but the, the delivery got damaged, so it never came. It's been over a week. And now it's coming today. I had to reorder it. And the replacement is coming today. So, my mattress is coming today. One of their mattresses is coming today. 
King's bed is in the garage, has yet to be assembled. Kane's bed has been assembled for a couple weeks, um, but has no mattress. Both of them have box springs. King's is also not assembled. So once the mattress comes, they'll both, both be able to lay on it within like 24, 48 hours. And then we can decide if they like it. If they do, then I'll order another one. If they don't, I don't know. Hopefully at least one of them will like it. And then I can order the other one something else. Let me take y'all upstairs. I'll show y'all what our room looks like right now. The kids are asleep. Here's Kane's room. Here's his mattress protector just waiting to go on a mattress. It was on Corey's bed until I ordered her a twin mattress protector. So here's our room. Air mattress is still here. <laughs> um, I was doing laundry. This is clean. This probably needs to go in the trash because I think this is old. Or is it new? Oh no, this one's new. I'm gonna fold this one up. And then this came from Corey's air uh, mattress protector. I don't know why it's right here. But anyway, I'll get rid of this stuff in a minute. Oh, this is what I wanted to show y'all. We mounted our new TV. So like I said, we have a 50 inch Toshiba. It is, you can kind of, you can adjust it. So it's not like perfectly level right now, but it's in the sitting area in our bedroom. Still need to find a couch to go right here. <sighs> Barely started looking y'all. I don't even like, I can't deal. Um, I need to deflate this and then put it back in the box, which I think is in my husband's closet. This fan can get turned off. I took a shower this morning and they recommend running the fan afterward so that it's not too moist. Um, let me get the box to this. Uh. I don't feel like doing this. So if we want to watch it in bed, we turn it this way. That way we can see it. Um, and if we want to watch it from the couch, we'll turn it back the way it was before. The only thing I don't like is that it is not perfectly centered if you back it all the way up to the wall. The reason being is because there was a stud here and there was a stud here. So it wasn't gonna be perfectly centered because to be perfectly centered on the wall, it would have to, there would have to be a stud between those two, between the um, plug and that like cat six or whatever the heck that is. Um, and there was not. So it had to be mounted to a stud. So it just ended up not being completely centered on the wall. Um, if you completely back the TV up, against the wall. Let me show y'all. So the TV is like as flush as it can be to the wall right now. And let me show y'all what it looks like. Terrible. <laughs> so we have to like bring it out from the wall a little bit, which is okay because you won't walk into it because of this. Um, but yeah, we have to like bring it out some and then scoot it over. So if we want it centered on the wall like this, then it's not flush against the wall. It's off by like, mm, probably eight inches, I would say. You can see where it's hitting the, the post right there. And coming out of the bathroom, so if you're coming out of the bathroom, this is your view. So you're not, you're still not gonna hit it unless you like purposely went like this, <laughs> but I just didn't like that it wasn't it wouldn't be flush against the wall but now that it's up there it's fine like it's not anything super crazy so that dang on ASMR comment below if your kids also watch ASMR to go to sleep <laughs> I was like what is that noise 
I was downstairs earlier and I just kept hearing it. I'm like, it's like, and I'm like, what the heck? I thought it was construction. Cause you know, they're still like building houses around us. No, it's freaking ASMR. I wanted to show y'all some stuff I got for Corey. You wanna put some pants on? It's kinda cold in here. Yeah. Let's get you some pants. I'll put it on my bed. Some of my things in here. Hi. <laughs> you look so sleepy. Because I am. Because you are. Mm -hmm. Where's that Walmart bag? Might be in my closet. Let me see. No, hold your clothes. got a couple things for the girls a while ago I don't even remember when I bought this stuff but this was for Corey but I don't know what the heck made me buy a size 8 she is not no size 8 <laughs> I, I guess I wasn't paying attention maybe I picked up your size like 5 6 but it's way too big it's like a little gap sweater but so I'm picking that back these, these are from Marshalls and then I bought these for Corey I'm sorry, Cody, these like Calvin Klein leggings. They're just plain black, but they just say CK right here. She tried them on, they're way too short. They are a size large, 12, 14. They fit, but they're just way too short. It's already starting to get cold, so it's a no. What did I do with your new leggings that I bought? Uh, I really don't put them know. in my closet probably. Where I put them? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go check in your closet. I don't think I put them in your closet yet, though. Yeah. Here. And you can put them in somewhere. And then last night on my way home, I from the dentist, I stopped at the outlets. So this stuff is going back to Marshall. This I just bought last night. So I got these little shorts because they were on sale from Old Navy. These were on sale for $2.99. And then these were on sale for $3.99. So I got these for Cody. These are Cody's size for next summer. And then I got Corey one too, because I just thought this one was really cute. But and this one was, one of these? Um, this, one, this one's for Corey. They got one pair that are the same, but different sizes. And then I got Corey two pair of leggings. So I got her this one. It's like, is this Argyle? I think that's what this is. No, is it? Is this called Argo? It's like a plaid. And I thought these were like super cute. So this would be really cute with her little boots that I got. Did I show y'all her boots? I think I did. I will sh I'll show y'all in a second. But then I also got her these ribbed leggings. It's kind of hard to see. There y'all. Okay, now you can see that they're ribbed. Really, really cute. It's like a copper color. So I got her these yesterday. I'm gonna put these in their closets for next summer. And y'all, I only paid, I had a $5, um, $5 in bonus cash or whatever you call it. So I only paid $16.92 after tax for all three pair of shorts and both pair of leggings at um, Old Navy, at the Old Navy outlet. And then I went to the Nike outlet. The only thing I got from there was a pair of slides for my husband because he needed some good slides. He wanted some slides. And they were really cheap at the outlet. These were like 30, 35 at Dick's, but they were 15 at the outlet. So I went ahead and picked them up. I was gonna buy them at Dick's, but they didn't have the size, and now I'm glad they didn't. <laughs> Cause they were half the price at, um, at, at the Nike outlet. I went into Adidas. I was looking for shoes for all the kids, but I don't really find anything. They didn't have much. But I got a pair of shoes for Corey for next summer. You're not gonna wear them till it's warm outside again. But I got her these little Adidas um, shoes. She's had these in pink before and I think they're super cute. So I'm gonna put these in the top of her closet for her to wear next summer. And that's everything I got from the outlets. But I also got her some stuff from Walmart. I showed y'all the like sweatpants that I got her. 
when I was in Walmart buying them. But I didn't show y'all the leggings, I don't think. Mama, no. The blue leggings over there on the left. What's this? Oh, I forgot about this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I got her two pair of just like plain sweatpants from Walmart. I'm gonna think I'm gonna get her a few more colors. I just to put on and wear around the house. They just like the just the normal leggings with the um this is a dress. Elastic at the bottom, elastic at the top. They have a drawstring. So Mom, she got gray and dress. she got black. And then also bought her some leggings. I got my birthday dress. Oh, here they go. I think your father put them up here. Mom, these mom, this is my birthday. So she dress. got two pair of leggings. One is like these stars and moons and stuff and um suns and the other is like a cheetah print also like a copper color so i need to order her or get her some shirts to go with those and then as far as shoes i only bought her one pair of boots so far this year and it's these i think i showed y'all already but they have the glitter sole and they are so cute they're from marshall's um, I got these the same day I got the other stuff from Marshalls. But I think this is going to be so cute with her little leggings and her boots. Um, this is what they look like. Basically like Doc Martens. Really cute. So I got her those. And then I also got Cody some stuff that I can show y'all. Let me go grab it. Okay, so. Cody got... A couple pairs of leggings. Where I bought these from? Oh, I got these from Ross. So she got these Adidas leggings, which are really cute and they fit really well. And then she also got these Adidas track pants, also really cute. Like a, they're like a periwinkle, like a really light purple, or kind of like a cross between blue and purple. Bye, I know. Mom, Super cute. Mom, I know it's gonna be my my. They have like a, the. Like hold on real quick. Dress. They have like mesh on top of the um. On top of the lines, halfway down, really cute. And then, I from Marshalls that same day when I got Corey her boots, I got Cody some um classic shell toes. So, she'll be wearing these with her little Adidas pants. And then also got her some boots. So they're also like the Doc Martens, but they are they don't have laces, so they're like slot ons. And these are really cute too. I'm trying to find her some cute like jeans to go with them. But yeah, so that's everything she got so far for fall. I have not had time to like really shop, so y'all, I've had to buy so much stuff and like having to research everything before you buy it it's a lot I, oh i bought kane some stuff i forgot about that i bought him some um joggers from walmart let me show y'all those Mom, can I get so i think okay yeah he just got three pair i don't know why his jeans are hanging down like that he just got three pair of joggers um we gotta buy hangers i think i'm gonna order some hangers from amazon today but um so he got he had these same joggers last year but it's just like the russell ones and he i like the texture of these they're really really soft and comfortable so he got navy blue then he also got a charcoal blue. gray gray on that gray and then he got a light gray like a heather light gray and, and they're all russell them. And they're all Life super balls. inexpensive. They're like fourteen dollars, fourteen forty-eight. Blue. He has winter coats that he can fit, so I don't need to buy him a coat. He has this one. This used to be King's, but Kane can fit it now. He also has this Under Armour coat, and then he has this. Probably needs to be donated, but it used to be King's. It's a little like lightweight jacket. Can you okay, let's take this up? You're not getting a snack. It's too early. I forgot snack. It's too early. So that's everything that I bought for fall. I need to do like a big shop for everybody. 
Can but I? Y'all, I don't be having time to do stuff. It's a lot to try to do everything. Can put these back in Cody's room. Mommy, can we get the dentist? Again? Oh, I didn't show them your stuff from Gap. Mom, I think I have a dentist appointment. Okay. I go in her closet and she got damn popsicles, lollipop sticks, and I'm about to flip. I'm about to flip. Because it's one rule don't eat up here. And they keep trying to break it. But anyway, um, so I got her some stuff for next summer. I like to shop when everything is on clearance at the end of the season. So this little like peplum top, this is still Corey. Peplum top, pink one. And then also got her this peplum top, which is like light orange floral, very cute. That's that's my next summer one. And then next summer, first she time. got this little tank top. Mama's super cute. Mama's pink dress is my birthday dress. Okay. And then I got her these little shorts with a drawstring. How much were these? It says they're ten ninety nine, and then this one says nine ninety nine. I think this stuff was all like fifty or sixty percent off the lowest price. It was on the clearance rack at Gap. I love shopping Gap, uh, the clearance racks at Gap, because they always have good clearance, the good sales at the end of every season. So if you have a Gap near you, an uh, outlet or just a regular Gap, they have good sales. They have good clearance stuff. Um, so for all of this. There was a 50% discount, and then there was an extra 15% off of that, and then I had some rewards, and which I don't know how much that took off, but I ended up paying $14 for this whole stack of clothes. So, she's already getting quite a few summer clothes for next year. I'll get her some more hangers so I can hang up all her stuff. Actually, yeah, she has some. I need to buy more, but I need to hang up her stuff. Uh. I can't hang up now. And I need to get them drawers and stuff. This is why we need to get closet organizers because we don't have anywhere to put the folded clothes. They're all just kind of in the top of their closets. So once we get those two sections I was telling y'all about, it'll be like one here, one there. And then they'll have somewhere to put their shoes. They have somewhere to like fold their clothes and put them in drawers. And then they'll still be able to hang stuff up here. And she'll still be able to have like toy storage down here. This usually the top goes on it so we can once it's, everything is neat the top will go on that and this can stack on top of it and then this can just be in here by itself. But she has quite a few sweatshirts. Most of these are hand-me-downs from Cody. Well not most. Some of them. This one is from Cody when she was younger. Um, this jacket is from Cody. Very cute. Art class from Target. Could not bring myself to toss this so I saved it for Cory because I love it. It's so cute. Um, this jacket, y'all saw, I got it from Target. Uh, but yeah, this sweatshirt is old. This one's from last year. This one is old from Cody. This one is from last year. Probably getting too small. Also from last year, has stains on it. I need to toss it. Um, this one is from last year. And this one is from Cody when she was this age, probably about five. And then this one is from Cody, but also needs most likely to be tossed because the little balls are, they've had it, they've had it. <laughs> like she has quite a few sweatshirts, but all her pajamas, all of her short sleeve shirts, all of her shorts, everything is just like tossed up here. Undies, socks, all that stuff is just up here any kind of way. It was organized, but not anymore because as people touch it, it just gets, just gets all picked over. Hello. Let me see. Did you clean your closet? Cody, why is it Nutri-Grain bar trash in your closet? So you just be eating in your closet. No, I don't even eat Nutri-Grain bars. Well, it's in the corner over there. Where? Right there. It wants to get out of my pants. Pick up. Why do you keep throwing trash in your floor? Yeah. And then that's not even trash. So just back my Put the top on your um boot. On your boots. Okay. When I came in here, your shoes were just thrown on the floor. They weren't even in the box. I can't. 
Yeah, I need to clean this bathroom. I just cleaned this mirror and everything. Y'all got trash in the floor. Clean it up. Somebody wrote on the wall. Just all kinds of stains. Uh, somebody hit the wall with something right there. What are you doing? Okay, what you gonna eat? Um, oh, I forgot to buy grits. We don't have any. Today is October 6th? No. Today is September 27th. Oh, God. I'm hungry. I don't know what we're gonna have for breakfast. We need to take out something for dinner. What can we eat for breakfast? Mm -hmm. I don't feel like cooking. That's the problem. Uh, yeah. Here we are. I'm about to eat leftovers. I'm about to eat cereal. You're gonna have to cook leftovers. I don't have to cook it. I just gotta heat it up. I want cereal. Okay, you can have cereal. Yay! Leftover burrito bowl for me. Oh, that's the minute. Watch out. Okay. No, I want the Reese's cereal. I sometimes look tired. the other day I got these bowls from Dollar Tree I just got four of them but they are so cute and it matches my aesthetic with the black and white love it so if y'all like these y'all should go to Dollar Tree ASAP because I'm sure they're gonna sell out because they're like the best dishes <laughs> that I've seen there definitely on par with time and table it reminds me of the dishes that time and table sell very trendy I love it so and they're ceramic give her a little bit she doesn't eat that much that is enough for her because she's gonna waste it if I give her any more she's probably gonna waste this I am gonna have a burrito bowl so I'm just using what's left over we have burrito bowls on Sunday gonna use the leftover rice. I'm gonna put it right in here and heat it up in here so I don't always use another dish. Got some black beans and corn. Y'all have seen me make burrito bowls. I don't know how many times at this point, but I do the black bean and corn mixture. And then I made some boneless skinless chicken thighs and I just seasoned them with like some kind of citrus. So this time I did lemon. Fresh lemon, squeeze that in here, and then also did um, smoked paprika, cumin, some uh, seasoned salt, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, all that stuff. Add that in. I'm gonna pop this on here so it doesn't make a mess. I just went to Walmart and got the fresh salsa. And then this is my first time trying this one um, avocado verde salsa. And then just sour cream. And then that's pretty much all we put on our burrito bowls. And then we'll also do some cheese. Yeah, I look so terrible. I have not had a chance to wash my hair since we moved in. <laughs> I washed Cory's hair, but I didn't have a chance to wash Cody's yet. Everything has been nonstop since we moved, but. Did y'all clean up at the top of the steps? Yeah. I feel like I haven't even had a chance to think, to stop and think. <laughs> it's just been one thing after another. Just go, 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 especially at work. It's not pretty, but. Here's my breakfast slash lunch. <laughs> about to eat this and get back to work. And um, I'll let y'all know when the mattress is about to get delivered. All right, y'all. I just finished my last meeting of the day. And I just got a call. I just missed the call. And it was Mattress Warehouse. And I called the number back. They said that 
um the driver is on the way they're in route so yeah we should have a mattress soon having a little snack break this pie from walmart so good i just have it with some ice cream when they get here I'll let y'all know and we will have a new mattress. We don't have a bed yet. I ordered one. I'll show y'all when it comes. Um, but it's not supposed to be delivered until October the 3rd. Today is the 27th of September. So we have almost another week before it's gonna be here. Just got Corey dressed to go outside. Nice. Looking good, looking good. Your hair is crazy, but it's fine. You can go play. Kane and Cody are already outside playing baseball. I bought them a bunch of like outdoor toys so they can have something to do until they get some friends or some activities or a playground out there or all three. So yeah, this is what they're doing right now. They have a bunch of stuff inside the garage. But yeah, that's today's activity. I thought he said we got a delivery. Is it on the front porch? Oh. Oh, it's King's desk. Yeah. I'm not bringing that in. I gotta go um, deflate my mattress before they come with the new one. As soon as I came up to try to deflate the mattress, they're here. Which means I need to just move it out of the way. Let me see what I have time for. Where it is on the, um, move. Uh, what? Don't put your mattress. So, this actually does it for you. So, I just have it deflating on its own. Um, but I am going to scoot it over because I don't think it's going to be done in time. They're already here. I'm so happy. Okay, what's out? Head and feet up at the same time, just press the one. I'm glad you can't even use it. Okay. Yes. Okay, did you show you how to use the remote? Mm -hmm. 
But I was scared it wasn't going to fit between the two windows. And it fits almost perfectly. So that thing is heavy. Good Lord. I thought I was going to shift it. No. It looks so good. So we ended up going with the Stearns and Foster Estate Collection. We love it. This mattress feels so good, y'all. It tells you who actually inspected your mattress or who handcrafted it in Maryland. Wow, fancy. Okay, so we got our mattress. We got our adjustable base. We have our remote that will lift the head. It came with its own mattress? No, we bought a mattress separately. Why does it look small? This looks small to you? I guess you gotta be sitting on it because it ain't even bending right now. <laughs> um, I guess after you wear it in a little bit, it'll start bending. Once you're sitting on it, it won't have a choice but to bend. Right now, it's just like sitting up on the. It's just sitting up on the crick. <laughs> you can also lift the feet. Oh wait, now that's the wrong one. Feet up. Wow, look at that. Can y'all see it going up? That's funny. The, the way the mattress is just sitting on top of it, like, I cannot. It's not going into the cricks at all, into the um, curves at all. And then, if you want to just make it go flat again, you push this button right here. And it drops both down at the same time. And if you want both the head and the legs to go up at the same time. You don't have the one that that like you can individually put one side out. Mm -mm. We didn't get that. Why? Because I already know. I don't want this to be this way. I want to be this way. No, because it don't. It's not like you sitting up on a couch. It's not that steep. The hill, like we probably gonna end up sleeping slightly elevated most nights. so heavy it might not look like it but sheesh trying to lift it up to put the sheets on it and stuff is the job all right we got our mattress protector it's very soft thank you guys feels so good So comfortable y'all even my feet are up it's not a magical bed yes it is and why is it going down lord have mercy go get my camera before you drop it ain't nobody got time for your shenanigans what else can this bed do what else can this bed do mommy that's it it can just lower and raise why is the bed so tall because I'm tall. Y'all get out of my bed. Y'all just went outside and played. Y'all dirty. Get out, Corey. Beat it. Cat litter? What? That's the cat litter. Yum, yum. Get out. Get out. Girl. 
I love this. This is so cool. Construction. We got construction. We got a chair. We got a desk. That desk looks different than what I remember. What's the Just Dance Club? Why you got a glove? They gave you gloves to put the chair together? Yeah, because they put like some type of oil on the on this um, part. Interesting. Okay, so King's chair is complete. I just was using it to finish up my work. Looks pretty good. And then his desk is also done. Bernie just finished putting it together. It's pretty big. But um, I, I think it's like 44 inches or something. This is the room right now. I don't know if he's leaving it there or if he's gonna move it to, probably not. It's pro it probably will barely fit right there. So I think he's gonna leave it there and then his bed just needs to be built. I have now ordered that mattress two times and both times it was undeliverable. So I don't know why, but it had really good reviews. So I think I might try one more time, just order it twice and hopefully this time it'll come. Cause it's a mess. So I just logged off, it is 5.33. Um, we're about to go to the store. We need to get sheets for the bed or for my bed because we don't have any king sheets. So I said a sweatshirt, that is a sweater. Look on my um, shelf. Cody, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I, I need something heavier, like a jacket. You want a jacket? I don't think I have any jackets. I only got a coat, so give me the sweatshirt off the shelf. We got Hello Fresh, but I'm not about to cook. I didn't even thaw anything out, so I think we're gonna just stop and grab something to eat on the way home. It's one of those days, I don't feel like doing nothing. Hair is all over her head, but not about to do it, so. Feet up off the ground. Okay, okay, I need to turn. Yeah, you have the flower ones because I thought they were cute. Why is this stuff so expensive? I like this color though. This color is pretty with the like satin finish. No, no, I don't want that. But fifty-five dollars. I don't know about that. Sixty-six. Seventy-six. Lord, it's just going up and up. Seventy-six for the King Hotel style sheet. Sixty-four or sixty-five. Sixty-four eighty-eight for these. Lord. Ah, I am done. Okay. What are these temperature regulating? Hmm. Huh? I don't need that. These are 59 and you get six pieces. One flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two pillowcases. This is 55 and you get one. I mean, you get four pillowcases with this one, two extra, and you get two with this one. I'm trying to see if they have a similar color. I really should have ordered sheets online. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, another option that I like is this one. Um. These seem like really good quality Quality though. They look nice. I kind of want to feel them. I'm in. This one eh, feels okay. I honestly feel like the Wayfair sheets that I bought for the girls feel better. Oh, these feel good. These are soft. Yeah, these are nice and soft. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're going to go with these. With this brand. Just need to figure out which pattern. 
Oh, and this is the quilt that I bought. Um, I bought one of these and I love it. Y'all, I don't think y'all have seen it yet because it's on King's bed, but I love it. It's so nice. Um, so I bought that in a king and then also bought this quilt. This is the one that's on our bed right now in a king. These quilts are such good quality. I love them. I told y'all about my um, knife set from Time and Table. This is it. These knives are super sharp. And only $12 for three. I really like this brand. They have some really nice stuff. We, you're not getting toys today. You're not getting toys today. 